the feeding system. From here you can see now as we are just producing oil, so a small pipe is transferring all the oil into this uh, feeding hopper. From this hopper, it goes into this melting uh, chamber uh, where the oil gets heat up initially and uh, it, uh, when it drops in this reactor, it's almost at the pyrolysis temperature. with the motor which and the stirrer system so when we have to remove the ash or mix it so this uh, motor is uh, uh, stirring it the agitator here and from this reactor papers go through this silver pipeline up this reflux and through this reflux it comes to this is the pre first pre condenser which start to condense the vapors and then through these vapors the oil is condensed into this first condenser, then this is the second condenser. Uh, from this second condenser goes into the third condenser. From this third condenser, this is the vacuum pump which makes sure all the process of pyrolysis is going under vacuum. And it sucks uh, from this vacuum, uh, the, uh, only the non-condensable gases are passed into this bubbler which treats the gas, neutralizes the acidity of the gas from this bubbler, uh, the uncondensable, non-condensable syngas is passed through this pipe and it goes into that reservoir. small heat exchanger which I built uh, to cool off the wa circulation water because water and uh, uh, when passed through the condensers got heat up so this is a very simple but it is very effective solution and uh, uh, I'm working with it and the uh, temperature of the water from 90 degrees Celsius goes down to 35 degrees Celsius by this simple method this is the control panel uh, which controls the whole operation of the machine. This is manually operated, it's not automized or PLC controlled as it was the first basic machine which I built about 3-4 years back.